This is a transaxle unit. So this part of the unit right here is actually a, a transmission, and this part, or this part right here, is, is the final drive. You can see, actually, let's look at correction on that. This part right here is the final drive because you can see where the axles actually come out here. So uh, if this were to sit in, in the vehicle, this would uh, actually the engine would be right here and then the axles would be coming out here. That would be the right side, this would be the left side. So this part is the final drive unit and this part is the transmission. And power is uh, actually transferred to the final drive unit usually by a belt right here or, or a chain it looks like a like a belt it's actually a metal belt that uh, transfers that right here again on the side this is your manual valve for your gear selection so when you move your gear selector you're actually moving this manual valve you can see that right there and you have your electrical plug in for that uh, these are some of your cooler lines that go out to your transmission oil cooler because remember the converter and we actually have the converter mounted in this transmission is right here. This is what multiplies the torque. This whole container, it's like a big drum, is actually filled with transmission fluid. And this is where a lot of heat is generated right here through this converter and that heat has to be removed. So there's a number of electronic inputs uh, and uh, downshift cable to shift down. Uh, this is where you put the fluid in and again it gives you instructions on filling the fluid. Uh, and if you read Japanese, you can also see how to do that too. But uh, it'll tell you about the oil level and uh, repairs and check the uh, owner's manual for the correct type of fluid that goes in the transmission. Another thing you might want to look at, the uh, serial number that's uh, stamped on the top right here. Uh, usually this uh, makes sure that's the right transmission for the car. A lot of times if uh, something uh, has been uh, taken that doesn't belong with that vehicle. Sometimes these serial numbers can be matched up. A lot of the newer cars are even stamping the vehicle identification number onto the transmission case now so that if uh, any parts are removed or that vehicle disappears, uh, some of these parts can be traced back to the original vehicle and the owner.